Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can create a sunglasses filter like this in the Spark AR Studio and you don't have to download any 3D assets outside of the Spark AR Studio. So yeah, let's go! Hey again, so let's create this sunglasses filter here in the Spark AR Studio. You can do anything here in the Spark AR Studio, so no need to download a 3D model elsewhere, but of course you can use your own 3D models for this filter. So yeah, let's start. The first thing we have to do is of course to import um, yeah, a 3D element, but yeah, we will do this here in the Spark AR Studio, so just click on the library, then go to 3D objects and yeah, search for sunglasses. Here you will have yeah some some sunglasses to to pick and yeah I will pick this sunglass here a classic one so yeah just click on import for free and then it will download it to your assets and maybe when you do this the first time um, you have to yeah log into Sketchfab so after this is downloaded just go to the 3D model I will yeah rename this to glasses so it's more sorted so and then just drag and drop it into your scenes panel so now you will see this sunglasses mod model is is extremely big so yeah let's yeah, let's make it a little bit smaller just go to the right hand side and set the scale to let's say 0 0.1 yeah for all free access and yeah this depends on what model you um, choose so now it's here in the middle of my scene but yeah at the moment it, it's not moving with my face so yeah let's change this so go to your scene panel click on add object and here um, yeah search for a face tracker and insert the face tracker so now when the face tracker is in your scene panel just drag and drop here the the glasses into your face tracker and now the glasses are following our face but yeah at the moment it's way um, too low so yeah let's change this I always change it here in the yeah, in the viewport, so just click here on the yeah, adjust position option and we can um, just drag it here around with those arrows. But now when you um, look closer here to the viewport, you will see it doesn't look real because you can see the dampers here when I yeah, nod my face down here. And yeah, it's not disappearing behind my face because we yeah, don't have um, included here a, a face occluder. So let's do this. For this, we also have to go to the library and here just go to the um, blocks and choose the head occluder block. So import for free and then it will also show up here in your assets panel. Now just drag and drop the head occluder to your scene panel. And now that's an important step. Make sure the head occluder is above the face tracker and now <laughs> you can already see that the glasses are disappearing here and now we just have to yeah, adjust the position of the glasses so a little bit up and a little bit to the front and um, for this I would recommend to pause your filter so yeah nothing is moving so also this reset it to zero the whole yeah, rotation values. X axis should be minus 90 and now yeah it's at the beginning so yeah let's check yeah a little bit to the back and upwards and it's much it's way bigger than we needed so yeah move it back move it upwards yeah just a little bit of fine tuning maybe rotate it so yeah now it looks good but a little bit too big so I would set the scale to zero point zero yeah zero point zero nine also the other values so just test it click play again yeah we have to put it a little bit to the front and now it looks pretty good i think yeah that looks pretty nice. So yeah, this was it. This is a this was a simple tutorial on how to create a sunglasses filter with a 3D object and also with a head occluder. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, it would be nice if you subscribe to it. And yes, if you have done this, see you in the next video. Bye.